Hi everyone, as promised, this is going to be a tutorial for the can cozy, the bottle cozy, the cozy. Um, no, I showed this one on one of my earlier videos and I've got an overwhelming amount of requests on showing you how to do this. This is so darn easy you're not going to believe it. Um, Monica has a similar one that she does and is this one of those things you really can't have a pattern for it, a copywritten pattern, because it's just basic. Um, hers, the only difference is she's got an elastic band in the top. Um, personally, I don't. I tried the elastic band. I didn't like that. I, I like it easy, easy to remove, and everything. But you know, some people like it so that it'll stay on real well. It depends on what you're doing when you use the bottle. Um, I also have one for 12 ounce soda bottle or 12 ounce soda or beer can and if you have like some of those energy drink things the little skinny cans you can make these whatever size you want and so you can make a cozy for any size cylinder that you that you want so I'm going to show you the basics for the can or bottle these are all the same size except for some of them have a few more rows than others what you're going to need is some worsted weight, medium worsted weight yarn, preferably cotton, and, and a size I crochet hook. Grab your hook, grab your yarn. Let's get started. Start with our slip knot, and I do mine this way. I go behind the yarn, do a 180 degree turn, catch the yarn, and pull it through. And you can leave these this loose and count it as a as a chain stitch or you can pull it tight and and not count it as a chain stitch. Since I pulled it tight I'm not counting it so I'm, now I'm going to chain four. So I chain four and now I'm going to go back into that first chain. I go under the bottom loop of the first chain and then catch up my yarn and pull it through and pull the first through the second first slip stitch. Now this is a little circle and we're going to work our stitches in that little circle. So I'm going to chain two. Uh, some people if you make a tall double crochet chain three and then make one. We're going to make 12 double crochet total so that's 11 counting chain stitch as a double into that ring. So that's three, four, five, eleven. And if you run out of room, just slide your stitches. Twelve. Okay, and what I did while I was making these 12 is I crochet over this tail so we can draw that closed when we're finished. Okay and now we're going to slip stitch in the top of the chain that there's two chains that you made or if you made three in the top of the three. Okay so now we have a little circle that's the center of the bottom of your cozy. Okay now we're going to do row two Again, I'm just going to chain two, but this time I'm going to go back into that same place I made the slip stitch. Yarn over, insert the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. That's double crochet. And since you count the chain as a double crochet, and that's a double crochet, so that's two double crochet in one. Now we're going to do increase in each stitch around, which is two double crochet in each stitch around. So we started with 12 stitches so this will end up with 24 stitches counting the, the chain as a double crochet. So we're going to make two in each. Okay I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. You go ahead and make two stitches in each double crochet around. And I'll meet you at the right, other end. Done 24 double crochet around, counting the chain as a as a double crochet. 
and I'm going to go into the top of that chain and make a slip stitch. Okay, so now this should be the same as the bottom of your can. I'm going to slip this cozy off of here. Okay, you take the bottom of your can and you measure it. And it should be just, it's okay if it's slightly smaller than the bottom of your can. And I'll check for the bottle. The bottom of your bottle. And it's actually this one is slightly bigger than the bottom of my bottle. And that's okay. It's just got to be close. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size. If it's a little smaller, it'll stretch. If it's a little bigger, um, you can work your uh, stitches a little tighter or go to a smaller hook. Okay. There we go. See this little ridge right here? That is made by working in the back loops only. So that's what we're going to do. And we're not going to increase anymore. This is the width we want it to be. So we're going to chain two. And now we're going to just simply go in the back loop only and make a double crochet in each stitch around going in the back loop only. This kind of helps turn the edge. And this part is not necessary to go in the back loop only. It's just a decorative preference for me. You can just work evenly without going in the back loop. You can do this with single crochet. You can do this with any stitch too. Um, double crochet for the, fa for the bottom is just the perfect size for the bottom of the can or bottle with two rows of double crochet. But you could probably do three rows of half double crochet or four rows of single crochet. Get the same thing. Um, to increase those stitches to make a flat circle, you want to check out my other videos. And we're just going to keep double crocheting in the back loop of each double crochet around. So pause it here, catch up, and I will meet you at the other All right, end. Alright, I'm at the end of round three. And I've double crocheted in back loop only of each stitch around. So you should have this little pie plate looking piece. And you just slip stitch in the top of that chain. Um, it's called a turning chain even though you don't turn it on this particular one. It's just to make your, your hook go the height of your stitches. Okay, and now what we're going to do for the next round and all the rest of the rounds until it's the height you want is just simply go through both loops and double crochet in each stitch around. You can single crochet, you can half double crochet, you can do uh, fancy stitches. Um, you can even probably do the streamer like we did the streamer hat that Teresa Richardson does. You could probably do a streamer uh, pop water bottle cozy. Um, so yeah, working evenly so you're going to make the sides of your your cozy here. So go each double crochet around and slip stitch in the end just like we did the previous row and work this eight rows of double crochet for a can or the short bottle. I have 12 rounds for my water bottle. So work your double crochet for the number of rounds that you want for the height of your bottle. We're going to do a little trim when we're, when we're finished that part. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here work your can or bottle cozy to the number of rows that you need to cover it and then we'll resume and do the last border. All right I made 12 rows all together 10 rows of the after the you do the little turn and I'm going to try it on my bottle because each time you work your gauge can be a little different so 
um, it doesn't hurt to try it on. So I'm going to slip my water bottle into it. Back up here a little. And I have a little bit more room to go. Um, so I'm going to do one or two more rows of double crochet and then the border. Okay, I just did one more row. I only did 11 rows on this bottle. But I like to end just before it starts curving in. Um, now if you put an elastic band in it like Monica does, it probably won't hurt to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to stop at this point with the double crochet and now I am going to make a round of single crochet. Chain one and single crochet around the entire thing. Now I know Marcel, um, known as One Virtuous Woman or OVW, she has a method where she makes hats and she puts initials in hats with single crochet. So um, if you did this all in single crochet, you could follow her method of putting initials on this. Or you could like do double crochet and just do a band of single crochet where you want to put the initials. Um, and then you could put initials on it or you could take a little flower like the smiley flowers that Michael Selleck does on Mikey's Mail or the Crochet Crowd and you can put a smiley flower on the side of your water bottle cover. There's all kinds of ways you can personalize these things. Um, you can make appliques, um, some butterflies or whatever and put on here. Um, let's say you have some old t-shirts that are wearing out but the logo on the front of the t-shirt still looks good. And you could cut off that logo and applique it onto the side of your water bottle. Okay, I single crocheted all the way around and I am going to, I, since I didn't single crochet in that, that chain, I'm going to single cro crochet into the slip stitch where I joined it because I forgot to single crochet in that chain and it, it, it'll make the same amount of stitches, it'll shift it over one notch. It doesn't matter. So now I'm going to slip stitch and then I'm going to chain one. Now the ending of my streamer hat, I showed you how to do reverse single crochet. Other way to make the crab stitch or reverse single crochet, I call it mock reverse single crochet. Single crochet like you normally would. And then you're going to make a twist. So you want to twist all the way around by turning my piece to the left and then single crochet in the next stitch. Turn the piece around all the way around without taking your hook out of it. Single crochet in the next stitch. Turn it all the way around. Single crochet in the next stitch. It doesn't look as much like the crab stitch, but it still gives you this little beaded edge. And this way, this one's a little tighter. And this really wouldn't work well on something large because you'd have to turn that whole, whole piece around. Complete the single crochet and then turn it around. You make the single crochet and turn it around. Make the single crochet, turn it around. Single crochet, turn it around, turn it to the left. Single crochet, turn it around. Single crochet, turn it around. So if you really struggle with that crab stitch, the twisted single crochet, I don't even know the name of this stitch, but it's a good substitute for the crab stitch. It looks similar to it. It's a little tighter than the crab stitch, um, but that's an option. Let's 
so I'm gonna pause it here and I'm gonna do this around and I'll show you how to show you how to okay I've done this twisted single crochet all the way around and it's hard to find a place to make a slip stitch when you finish this round so I don't I just make I just I know it's a twisted but the last one won't be twisted you just cut off your yarn with a bit of a tail pull the yarn through And instead of joining with a slip stitch, okay, so this is going to be twisted, so just twist it around like this. And go in with your yarn needle. And then back through. And that finishes that edge of the row. And I'm going to turn it around so that the inside's facing out. And I am going to draw in my tail under the first few stitches. And then we want to go back the other direction. Let's turn it around. And you can even slip down to the next row that's below it. And then run your yarn needle under a few of those stitches to hide your tail. Cut that off. Okay. Another thing is you want to turn it around inside out so that you can draw in this middle tail. And you could do this after you do like three or four rows so that you don't have to turn it inside out to do it. But it doesn't matter. You just run your yarn needle around under that first round of stitches in the center and you want to pull that hole shut. I usually go all the way around even though I crocheted over the tail. I still like to go around that whole circuit. And then what you want to do is, if you want to, you could cut it off here if you like. Or what I want to, what I do is I go up through the next row of stitches above it, go underneath six or seven stitches, go one direction. Take my yarn needle and go back down to that first row of stitches. This is a little short of putting the needle through and then threading it. And go the other direction to secure it. And then you snip that end off. the bottle cozy. Voila! You got a bottle cozy. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I want to see response videos and post some pictures somewhere and uh, link me to them and I would love to see your can and bottle cozy. like to see uh, new stitch combinations or color combinations or how you embellish it. So have fun. Happy crocheting.